Have you ever stared up at the night sky and wondered, why is there all this instead of just nothing? It's one of the biggest, most mind-bending questions we can ask. Why does anything exist at all? For a long time, the default answer was just, well, that's how it is. But modern science and philosophy are starting to offer some incredible ideas that might just give us a clue. Let's start with the very idea of nothing. It sounds simple, right? No stuff, no space, no time, just nothing. But many physicists and philosophers argue that true, absolute nothingness might be fundamentally unstable or even logically impossible. Think about it. For nothing to exist, it would have to have a property, the property of being nothing. And that's already something. This is where quantum physics gets really weird and wonderful. In the quantum world, what we think of as empty space is actually a fizzing, bubbling sea of energy. It's called the quantum foam. In this foam, pairs of particles and antiparticles are constantly popping into existence from literally nothing, and then annihilating each other in a flash. It's a process called vacuum fluctuation. So, from the perspective of quantum mechanics, nothing is actually a very busy place, and it has the built-in potential to create something. This leads to an even bigger idea. Could the entire universe have created itself? Some theories, like those from Stephen Hawking, propose a self-contained universe. In this model, the Big Bang wasn't a moment when something came from nothing, but rather a moment when time itself began. Because time didn't exist before the Big Bang, you can't ask what caused it. The universe, with all its laws, could have simply sprung into being as a quantum fluctuation, a self-creating loop with no beginning or end. Of course, this isn't the only explanation. For millennia, religious and spiritual traditions have offered their own answer, a necessary creator. For many, this provides a satisfying answer to the ultimate why, and then there's the role of our own minds. Does consciousness simply observe the universe, or does it play a part in creating reality itself? The participatory anthropic principle, a wild idea from physicist John Wheeler, suggests that the universe needs an observer like us to become real. So, why is there something rather than nothing? Maybe nothingness is an unstable illusion. Maybe the universe is a cosmic free lunch, born from the laws of quantum physics. Or maybe it's the work of a creator, or a reality we help shape with our own awareness.